his family, you know, they travel. They they get to do stuff. They you know, I think uh, his dad Stephen uh, is a photographer as far as I know, and he's done it for so long. And and I don't know what his mother does, Kim, but you know, they're a great family. You know, and Ethan, you know, is just as talented as his brother Sean. And I know if I had a successful brother who who people look up to, I wouldn't want to have to compete with that, you know. And I don't think Dweebo is uh, competing with that. I, I believe that more or less he's doing his own thing because he's he's kind of stepping away from doing what his brother does, but, uh, also, but kind of including him in some videos too. But he does like raves and he does like the cooking videos and everything. And, you know, just different stuff. And I think that's cool. There's no jealousy between those two guys. And that's good. That is good. And Ethan, you know, tomorrow you'll see my cooking video. And I'm sure you'll be impressed. I think we're just going to make it a two-course meal. I think. Probably be a better idea. Okay. So why do I like Ethan? You know, why do I like Sean? Why do I like MJ? Because they're all talented. They're all fun. They all, they're all friends that I wish I was close to. They're all people I wish I was close to that I knew. They remind me so much of how my friends and I were back in the day. You know, we used some video tape all the time. We we made a lot of funny videos that before the days of YouTube and all that. You know, if we were to know that we could have saved them and preserved them and for people to show, I guarantee you, just like I've said, that, you know, that I would be probably just as, as popular as Sean Phillips, maybe if not more. I don't know. But all my friends left me and all that and moved on and all that and I had to make new friends and <laughs> and internet friends whether you I'll meet ever get a chance to meet you guys or not and you know kind of by myself a little bit you know when it comes to this so yeah but you'll see a few here and there of some of the friends that I have okay and there's a couple other people that I want to give a shout out to as far as people that I watch and that's Wet Movie One and R. Joe Hagen Richie O'Hagen now. I know Richard and I maybe haven't really had the great, you know, we haven't had the best friendship as far as, you know, because of the whole Five Awesome Said channel. And I know I said that maybe his, the YouTube Refugees channel is not going to be, you know, as good as the Five Awesome Suds were. But I, I've been watching their videos and I've been watching the, the YouTube Refugees and I think they actually hit it on the nail. I re they were hitting it on the head, I should say. They they actually the guy the people that they got on are actually pretty pretty good not just the people from the the old five awesome set channel but even the new guys you know like Reed Bear and uh, Soul Gotha and you know a few others that are on there Muska and you know I mean I, I I'm very impressed I you know Chris is doing a good job Chris Stillwell who's in charge is, is doing a really good job but Richard does the Lulu character Arjo Hagen three two four is this YouTube username. And besides the Five Awesome Sud channel, the YouTube Referee channel, the fact that he can, you know, come up with a character and use that to, to help bring in some new subscribers or just to see, you know, who views the videos and all that stuff, I think it's great. I think if Richard, you know, had more time or if he had, like, a, uh, like a studio, I think he could do a lot with that. Make more characters and all that, too. He reminds me a lot like Brock Baker, you know. Brock Baker is known for not just a man of many voices, but the, a man of many impersonations, you know, many characters. And I could see Richard doing something like that. And the last guy, Wet Movie One. You know, everybody knows Wet, Wet Movie One, a.k.a. his real name, Brendan Mitchell. And he just, you know, he's he and Sean are really good friends. They met, and I've always... Since the day that I first seen Brendan do his original wet movie channel uh, on YouTube and did DVD reviews. In fact, a little old fact here, what you guys don't know is the very first DVD that he reviewed and whatnot, or updated, or on his little update when he made his first video on, this, on his YouTube channel, I actually owned that. He actually sent that to me, which I think is kind of cool. It was Halloween. I think that was one of the first movies that he actually reviewed or showed or whatever. I want his first ever DVD updates. And that was Halloween. The very first Halloween movie from Rob Zombie. And he sent that to me here uh, last... I think it was last year or the year before. Because he just wanted to send me send me that. So, I own that. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. But, but let alone that, 
It's, it's just great to see a guy who, who wants to be a, inspiring to be a filmmaker, just like we all are, to do something with film, and that we can all kind of connect in the same way. We all have a lot in common, except we're miles away, we're states away, you know? We're all YouTube brothers, but we're all, you know, some of us will never get, probably will never be, but never say never. And these guys are, are, are fun. Wet movie, Brendan and his friend Harry, or Gabe, I should say. I don't know why I call him Harry, but... Ever, you know, he's he's they're both fun, they're both a good duo. They remind me of myself and Martin, you know, just two guys who just love to have fun on, on camera, you know. So, so yeah, so those are my shout outs. Those are people who why uh, YouTubers I really appreciate. It's not like I don't appreciate all the people that subscribe to me, and I do watch a lot of people that subscribe to me, but I'm going to talk to the people who I know who watch my videos. I could say that I like Shea Carl and all that, but I know for a fact he won't respond back to my video. You know, I highly doubt he watches any of mine. But I always watch Shea Carl's because, you know, he, he to me, the Shea Tires and all that are, are a real fun group of people. And, you know, he has a great family. And he, he should be blessed every day, you know, that he has a great family and he has the success. He has a job that everybody else wishes that they had. You know, he doesn't even have to go to work. He can just, he gets paid just from sitting home, you know. But anyway, so, video probably wasn't the greatest, but I had to think of something. But tomorrow's video will be a lot more exciting. Where we do the cooking video. The baking video, I should say. But what am I going to make? You'll have to tune in tomorrow to find out. We'll see you tomorrow for another great daily summer vlog.